Hello, I'm here in Ely with Jessica Martin, who's the Canon for Education and Outreach at the Cathedral. And we're going to be talking a little bit about Holy Week and how we can all pray uh, and learn more, more about prayer um, throughout this week. So Jessica, what do you do that enables you to pray in Holy Week? In the Cathedral and in a number of parish churches, there are actually services every day of Holy Week. And you can go on a journey that um, with other people simply by going and sharing that time with them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and then finishing with Easter Day when the story has this extraordinary and unexpected twist where it turns out that it's not a tragedy at all but the most amazing triumph. The thing I love about Holy Week is it feels like it's almost the whole of the Christian experience compacted into a week. Yes. So you you experience all these emotions from joy um, to sadness to loss to longing to deep absence um, and then the resurrection and hope springing forth again. But you don't have to pray just in church, do you? Where, where else could you pray? You can pray anywhere. Praying is like breathing. Praying is something that you can do anywhere that you are. I think it works very well with walking, actually. You can walk and pray, and if you have um, maybe a, a, a short, repetitive um, prayer that you can focus on, almost like, you know, from a different tradition, a mantra, then it can sort of calm your mind and you can find yourself able to listen to God as well as talk to him, because prayer is two-way. And where might people find these mantra prayers? What type of prayers would, would you recommend? Well, there's a very ancient prayer called the Trisagion, uh, which means three times holy. It's simply, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. And it's actually the prayer that underpins the uh, film that's coming out from the diocese, uh, which is called The Way. And it shows people in every possible circumstance who might be able to pray this prayer. And this is Holy Week, isn't it? So um, this is about us joining with Christ in his week, as well as Christ joining with us in our lives. This is a story of someone who goes to a city where he knows that people are getting ready to arrest him, that they want to kill him, he, but he knows he's got to go there. So he faces up to it and he's welcomed like a king. And all that time, I wonder what he's thinking because he knows that people aren't going to be able to, that this is sort of something that's happening in, in the moment for these people. It's the latest thing and they're very excited by it and they think, oh my goodness, perhaps this person really will save us from the Roman occupation. And he knows it's not about that. And that, that, that in the course of the week, as they realise that the danger is real and that the kind of kingdom that he's bringing isn't an earthly kingdom with soldiers mm. and um, uh, overthrowing the occupying power, they're all going to fall away. Even his closest friends at the end are going to fall away and he's going to be alone. Mm. So it's a journey that we walk with him that's a journey towards what looks like failure and almost has to be failure in order to succeed. And that's the really extraordinary paradox of the Christian story, that this seems to be a story of failure, but actually it's a story about someone giving themselves away so utterly that we receive everything. So what about people who can't make it to church every day this week? Um, are there things that they can do to engage with Holy Week um, from their homes, maybe even online? Absolutely there are. The, uh, the simplest thing they can possibly do is to go and read the story, starting with um, his entrance into Jerusalem on the Sunday and then reading through each day until you get to, um, to Easter Sunday. There are also lots of resources online. Um, the Church of England has um, the Live Lent resources on their website. On the Diocese of Ely website there are blogs for each day and there's music for each day. So if music is one of the ways that you can be enabled to pray, there's um, music that's appropriate for each day of Holy Week. And I think also you can, if you have any questions, they'll even take 
eight questions. Is that right? Will you, or maybe Absol- you all have to answer some of these questions. Absolutely. So if you were to email seeking at elycathedral.org, um, somebody would answer your questions. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it's a great we'll pleasure. look forward to what comes next this week. So if you would like to learn a little bit more about Holy Week and join us in praying, there are resources on a churchnearyou.com where you can find your local churches that will be open through the week on either Ely Diocese or Ely Cathedral. There are lots and lots of resources from music to thought-provoking blogs to opportunities to write in with your questions and have them answered. Um, And I hope you have a lovely Holy Week.